Well, fish stock is a result primarily because of my father. He was a really fine musician, and everyone in my family, all seven children, learned to play an instrument, and all of our family reunions were musical reunions. And I thought if I could convert the barn into a performing arts center, that I would feature music. And we started having concerts 17 years ago. We thought it was an interesting combination of an old guy like me that's from the Woodstock era, and the fact that we lived in Fish Creek, and so Stuart Dawson, who painted the sign behind me here, suggested that we call it fish stock. So it's been known as fish stock ever since. When I first came around Door County, I met Dave Elman, certainly among the first people that I was introduced to. He's got quite a social calendar. And I think he still does this, but I think like every other weekend he had, would have like a picnic. And so there were people that would informally come to these and that included a bunch of musicians. And then in the fall, maybe it was the first Sunday after Labor Day, something like that, he would have an informal concert in the barn that was called the Folk Concert or the Folk Show. And this was um, uh, before he got, you know, a certificate of occupancy or whatever it is so that he could charge admissions. The American Folklore Theater were my first real sources of entertainment. And because Fred Alley, his brother David, his whole family is like my family. Uh, they were in existence longer than I was in existence here. Fred was always kind of supportive of all these kind of events. And so Fred, I think, agreed to be the MC. You know, different people would get up and do a few things. And there were tables that were just like spools, you know, many of which had probably still out in the back at Camp David. And then somewhere a few years after that, Dave got it together to make it legit and got it porta potty and whatever summit he needed to actually have the event and to charge money. And I'm pretty sure I was the first one. That fall I did my very first Fish Dock concert series and I was really afraid that no one would show up. After that first Fish Dock show, uh, another local musician, Nick Hoover, had recorded the the concert on his four-track cassette recorder. He had plugged it into the board and he gave me a copy of it and I played it for Fred and we were both just blown away. I mean it was really raw sounding but just the essence of the performance was great and the energy was there and so Fred and I got really inspired by it we decided to go ahead and release it. I think that Fred wrote liner notes for eventually he got the cassette and helped Eric to master it and release it as Eric Lewis Live in Fish Creek. I think that that CD really helped because, you know, once you have a CD of it, now people who aren't around Door County can know about it and say, hey, this sounded like fun. And, um, so I, I think that was the first year and then it, it kind of grew. seems to get bigger and bigger and it, it affords me an opportunity to bring more talent and hopefully even people more talented than what I can offer to introduce to Door County audiences. All the people that Eric has brought up like Tommy Burroughs, uh, Chris Irwin also, you know that, that they come for one gig but end up sticking around a few weeks and you know Tommy Burroughs seems to be there most of the summer now and you know because uh, and cross-pollinating, you know, different combinations of people playing. It's definitely, it's, it's unique and it, again, it's, it's hard to describe to somebody who's not there. You, know, you just kind of have to go there and, and see. Um, I just, I couldn't say enough good things about the music scene here. It's just growing and getting better and, you know, it's just a, wonderful place to come play and, and in, at the Fish Stock Concert Series, you know, as an annual event, it just keeps growing and getting bigger and better every year.